Oh, Jesus. Wait. What's the time? Oh, I think we missed the we missed the beginning. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. Glad to have you here. Oh Jesus, you are right. <laughs> mm. Oh, flamingito! Oh my God! If if flamingos could talk, am yeah. I right, flamingito? Oh Jesus! Good morning, everyone. To day four of a maze. Oh wow, day four already. Already. Jeez. Who? Who are you again? Uh, that's a good question. Wait, uh, do I have an ID? <laughs> Actually, I lost I myself. No, you are Santi, the Berlin-based web developer. Oh, shit, true. I'm fucking fabulous. <laughs> I remember So tell now. me something about myself. Uh, fabulous too. <laughs> so I'm Gideon, Gideon. And we're really glad to have you all here for today. It's day four. And come up next, we'll have a really, really funky presentation of people of the, wait, let me check, right, Argentina in 2012, people were just fed up with not having arcades. They wanted to have arcades. So what they did is they founded this whole DIY arcade building club wow. where they're just like, it's a, it's a culmination of all different kinds of people, young kids who want to play on big machines, adults who love to tinker with electronics. And we're gonna hear from uh, Hernan Sess, mm -hmm. and he's gonna uh, talk about how that whole thing happened. Sounds amazing. So stay tuned for that. Um, all right, let's, let's do it. <laughs> hey. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you enjoyed the previous one about uh, um, uh, wire art and arcades in uh, South Africa. And I'm here today with uh, Henan all the way from Argentina. It's very, very early there. So thank you for getting up so early today just for us to be in the stream live with us to give an extra liveness to this. Um, yeah, welcome to Amaze. Hello, oh, thank you very much. How are you doing? Good. I think yeah. I'm awake now. <laughs> awake? <laughs> same, <Yeah>. same. <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what time is it at the moment? It's um, 7.12. 7.12, you in got up an hour early. Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> so in the morning. Thanks so much. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I I'll go to yeah. sleep up after this. Again, oh, so okay. No, That's there's no problem. Yeah. Okay, phew. <laughs> and it's a Saturday, no so uh, uh, right. and you got some big stuff planned for today. But um, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about yourself? I'm uh, Hernan Saez. I'm a uh, part of Videogamo. Uh, it's a, a studio here in Argentina that uh, has been making games for since 2010. And it's a part of, uh, and we're part of, of a movement of uh, do-it-yourself arcade uh, machines that is happening here, uh, among other studios. I'm a designer. I'm also a graphic artist, and a little bit of everything, uh, along with uh, Maximo Alestrini, uh, the programmer and designer in Video Gamo, and Paloma with the social media and production and stuff. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I think I met you like two years ago in uh, Buenos Aires uh, when I was there for Gaia. We, we, um, and you were actually, I remember going to this place somewhere not near where we were basically we had to get a, a taxi and it was a very adventurous ride basically to get there yeah. um and uh yeah i entered this room and there were like loads of people back when it was still uh, possible and um and there was this um yeah this arcade cabinet and there was uh, another like Old controller game it looked like and i was like oh this is so amazing <laughs> like where did i did i go through a portal and i ended up in argentina yeah. in this uh, awesome space with like 
all these people playing these yeah. uh, wonderful games. Yeah. Um, and earlier today we had a talk about uh, arcades, um, also do the DIY arcade culture also in uh, in South Africa, and I. I actually wanted to connect more people from around the world um, to see what they're up to. And I was thinking about the portal that I went through in Argentina, like last uh, in 2019. And yeah. um, I was really looking forward uh, yeah, to hear more about that and talk to you about uh, what's happening um, in Argentina, because uh, you and your team and other people are working on all these DIY case and they're is like so much happening and uh, yeah, I'm super interested. So um, yeah, can you tell a little bit more about like the scene, how that started actually? Yeah, well, the, the place that you went was uh, a world tournament of now oh. one of the games. <laughs> yeah, it was a party and a world tournament of one of the games uh, now. Uh, well, the, the scene started like in 2012. Uh, when when some uh, arcades started to popping out slowly um mm, first there was a a nave then, then there were other other games by by other teams uh i can name the games but uh there are many of them capitan menopausia cacabor eh, fuga Cupitron, Mar Rollers, Nave, well, many games uh, that started to popping out because um, at that time there, there there were many there weren't many uh, um, like gatherings there, there weren't any arcades and stuff uh, we we don't have a we we have a um, we have a small story of, of video games uh, and we have some some story uh, some back. Uh, backstory uh, in Argentina about uh, arcade scene, but not made here. Uh, like originally, we have a, a a story of, but we have a story of, of people uh, going to the arcades and being like a uh, like an unusual thing. So there's a there, there was a culture like in the 80s and the 90s, and then there wasn't anything else. Uh, there were a few ar ar arcades. Uh, originals made in Argentina, like uh, Truco, but it's an arcade uh, based on um, on a, a classic car game that was made into an arcade here in Argentina. And there were uh, other like um, uh, mods of other games, like but put in like uh, national cars. Like there was this um, uh, pole position game, but uh, then. Uh, like uh, electronic engineer here, like modified it and put a local car and everything. That that kind of stuff were was here in Argentina uh, prior to 2010. But after 2012, uh, uh, these 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 are like Nomad arcade machines uh, with different kinds of games starting to appear, and it looks like uh, people was really eager to like play again pu publicly. Uh, and, and meet people and compete with people uh, like in any regular arcade uh, situation scene uh, or, or market uh, where that's the one of the basic things of, of the of the of the format right the, the, the fact of going to a public place finding a, a game and playing with other people that you don't know so that 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 thing with one game then another game and then another game popped up and that um, that brought players so that started to build, build like a, a scene with also with like the players that regularly started to uh uh go to places to place those games that are not uh most of them available anywhere else and uh and that took the the we made friends with other other uh, other teams, and uh, there were also like the Chipton team that uh, also joined us, uh, and we joined them. And uh, so that these all these parties and events uh, started to appear, and, and the players. So between the these events and musicians and uh, and uh, developers and the players that are very important, uh, regular players. 
competing and playing and having fun that uh, um, made like the basics of the of the kind of underground scene that is happening here nowadays. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is all in Buenos Aires, right? Yes, big part of it is in Buenos Aires, and then there are uh, a, a few other machines like uh, in in other smaller cities. But yeah, the, the basic uh, movement is in Buenos Aires. But uh, we've been touring with the games around Argentina, uh, so we're trying to make it more like wide, and mm -hmm. also visited uh, uh, other neighbor countries. And but yeah, the base is uh, in Buenos Aires. And are these uh, cabinets uh, repurposed cabinets, or are these cabinets that people made themselves? Like, uh, how does that? How did that work? uh it's a mixture um it's like so, some games have uh uh are recycles clone gabinets from the first era that i told you about uh that uh with with the the monitor of the time the crt of the time other ones are like um uh, specially built uh cabinets with a crt computer monitor Others are like uh, uh, has have TVs, uh, CRT TVs inside. So uh, so it's a mixture of of, of recycled and reused uh, arcades and uh, specially made ones. There's there's also, for example, uh, uh, the Kakabor that is um, uh, a pinball. So it's made with parts of other pinballs there's a foosball that it's also made like uh the, the figure the, the the figures are made especially for the game and but the the table was a project that the uh, the developers of uh Tucho toys uh had from back from when they went to the to high school so they mixed uh that with with uh newly made uh figures so it's very diverse, uh, but yes, the, 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 the basic is like there's one per arcade, there's not two arcades that are the same and that are uh, low budget recycled um, cabinets uh, that look pretty good. Well, I think, do we have like a, a little bit of a video? Like, can we do like one minute of the video that you collected so that we have a little bit of a idea of what the things look like, right. which would be um, scene arcade bar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the volume is low, so we can talk over it if you want. Excellent. So what you're seeing there is uh, at first these underground parties with chiptune and uh, everything else. And then there are some public events. And uh, I'm distracted because so it's freezed. <laughs> I'm frozen. Ah, frozen, yeah. OK. Now you're not frozen. Okay, so um, uh, and yeah, what, what, what we are seeing is a little bit of of, of these first initial uh, underground that are still happening. Not now, but have been happening. And then some public events that we have in different places, uh, like for people that are not freaks or like we are. <laughs> it's like for. People that for, for kids and families and stuff, we, we made a, a lot of those uh, uh, for the events. general public, yeah. The general public that we, we love those, uh, we we, uh, we we love the situation of, of having the uh, the arcades in public places that people don't know that are going to be there or what is going to happen, and then you stumble upon the the arcades and and and, and they play so. And then there are, uh, I don't remember, but there's 
stuff because also part of the of the of the scene that is happening here is the, the replay magazine that uh, you maybe see some footage that it's a a, a magazine uh, with uh, classic games but they also cover like a uh, local story of local arcades and computer development and uh, so the, it's like a ecosystem with the people reading about the games maybe living in another city then coming here playing and or we going there and uh so that's interesting maybe you'll, you'll see some footage of that and and then they cover every every game that it's uh but it's like it's a very similar public so uh it's a printed magazine and that's so cool uh we love making all this physical stuff and that's that's one more and and then there's also footage of the arcade bus uh tv series yeah that I, that's up. that's yeah there's a an arcade bus like that's super interesting like what was this uh, bus about like um like what how did that work um well we like, like like I say, we 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 make games, but we are also part as players of the regular arcade bar scene, and so uh, of, of all all the scene of developers and players, we many of us have become friends. So we regularly uh, beyond uh, the other gigs, we go to arcades and and play together, and we have talks with other developers and and. In one of those uh, chats that we were having, like while having a, dr a drink and playing, uh, we said like it, it would be so cool to have a uh, a bus to bus to put all the arcades inside and uh, make like a moving arcade. Um, and uh, but that's you know the, the kind of idea that yeah, but who has the bus and who will pay for this? The, the, mm -hmm. that, those ideas that you have that you know that someday someday will come but then there was like a uh, the possibility of uh, there was a um, uh, uh, the possibility of uh, presenting a, a, an idea for a documentary about games and mm -hmm. I, I knew this uh, this company uh, production company Mulata Films that is from here that are friend of ours so we told them like Hey, we have this idea of the arcade going around Argentina. So they made a project uh, around it for a TV series, series, and that was good because uh, being a series, uh, there will be money to, to buy the, the the bus or, or rent it or whatever. So they 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 presented the project uh, and it was a prize and they they won. So uh, we we got to buy the. <laughs> Wow. The, the bus and modified it and 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 then it basically ended up being like a, more like of an uh, educational uh, TV show, uh, mm -hmm. four part educational TV show, like not also touring around and showing people playing and stuff, but also um, talking about how to make arcades and uh, making people make them and and and. We also like took uh, an arcade, uh, like empty arcade uh, uh, cabinet that we put a, a TV inside and uh, and a computer. And so while we were touring around with uh, with the bus, we we were like gathering um, games from the different uh, communities in, in the okay. in the road. Uh, so we also had that and uh, and yeah, that was. 2019 like that was like right after right before you came uh, to Argentina mm -hmm. and then okay. last year uh, they, they aired and and yeah it was a great adventure and and we, we you know we tried to make like the things that we'd like to, to see and it, it was like oh yeah I, we'd love to be in our town and then a bus <laughs> arrives and there are arcades inside and you get to play <laughs> yeah. them <laughs> so we 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 made it possible. We 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 could uh, 
achieve that that dream. But then the, the pandemics uh, came, so everything was shut down. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, next next is uh, uh, a boat, or I don't know what will. <laughs> That's so yeah. yeah that will be so cool that you can yeah you can come to Europe <laughs> <laughs> also with it. Yeah. Um, talking about like uh, the pandemic, but I know that like when I when we talked about this a little bit before, you had the Nave Arcade, and right. uh, there is world tournaments happening, and also uh, last year that yeah that could not really happen, I guess. But you still did some stuff with Nave. Nave. But can you tell a little bit more uh, about Nave Arcade, what it is, and what the tournament is about? Right. Uh, nowadays, the the in video one we have two games that we have been showing around for the past years. One is uh, Double Tone, that it's a console uh, for parties with with knobs and stuff that you can fool around with, and and that we took internationally uh, because it's small. But then, uh, but prior to that, we have Nave uh, from 2012. That it's uh, that yeah for for the time we 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 had a. a, a, a a shooter, um, space shooter game that we had, a black and white space shooter game that we, we had. Uh, and then we decided to put it in our arcade just for one presentation. But then it, uh, like people get in, uh, to, uh, got interesting in this game that wasn't anywhere else, but, uh, and, and people wanted like to compete uh, in, uh, in it. So uh, we started to tour around with Nave uh like anywhere they we were invited we would go to the to the that gig but we also said like let's make a tour out of it so every gig we get invited to we it's one more date of the tour so now we're in date 175 we made a, a lot of presentations uh, most of them like in the first three years and uh so, and uh, another thing that we, we, we made many things like, uh, uh, for example, uh, these tournaments that you, you went to the seventh tournament, I think. So we made uh, one per year. Um, and, and in those tournaments are, are like basically thought, uh, designed for uh, all the players that maybe don't get together at the same time, play in the arcade in different uh, events they get together in the, in the same place at the same time. So they uh, get prices and t-shirts. We, we, uh, uh, we don't have merchandise to sell. All, all the merchandise that we do is you, you have to earn it, like win, the, win games and, and stuff. So that, that, uh, that's uh, something that players like. So that's part of, of, what, of why they compete. And so we've been touring around, went to uh, Chile with it. Uh, we crossed the, the border, the Andes, with a car and the trailer. And we uh, traveled like a thousand kilometers for that. We went to the north of Argentina. And, uh, when, and then when the pandemic started, we stopped uh, touring uh, till today. That will be the first presentation after uh, one year and a half, uh, and uh, and we did we didn't do any presentations, uh, but we what we did uh, for a maze in 2020, uh, that I guess that yeah. one was what we are talking about. We as we always travel with double tone around. Uh, we went to GDC, Tokyo Game Show, to every every show and stuff. But Nave, we never took it anywhere. So for this presentation with Amaze, we said, OK, let's show Nave, showcase it. Like People cannot play it because it's far away, but we can uh, show it, explain it, uh, play a little bit. And then we, we, we had the idea of, uh, instead of ju just showing it, we built a robot uh, controller. So you can basically there's a camera and this controller so you from your computer or your smartphone or whatever you can see the screen of the arcade and move the the sticks uh, uh, so we prepared that for a maze last year for the game on uh, showcase and um, and that's now that, that was that's one that was funny uh, and that was weird at the same time because uh, 
uh, it's it's like kind of an experiment that we'll keep on improving. But it's uh, it, it was it was cool because uh, we as the game you cannot play it, play it on the machine. We felt that we you were we were not uh, breaking the rule. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. that that was fun, and that, that was like a kind of uh, also for for the real player, where like was like a new um, challenge to learn how to play through the computer because there's some a little lag and stuff. Yeah. So we because, ended... uh, can you can you explain a little bit what you have to do? Because we're looking at footage now on uh, on the stream. Um, mm -hmm. What and... you do in the game? What to do in the game, yes, yeah, so people right. know a little bit, yeah. Yeah, the game is, uh, the, the format is, is, a, is a classic space shooter game, right? But it's, um, uh, it's, it's never the same. It's procedural, the, 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 how the, the ships come and mm -hmm. stuff. So you have to survive. There's a, there's a, a clock that it's uh, uh, the timer, it's, it's the score, and you have to survive as much as you can. Uh, like a regular runner and stuff. The the difference with this game is that you have uh, a few classic power ups like uh, like energy or or the bomb to clear all the screen. But then there's another power up that is the part you know like in the classic arcade uh, sh shooters that you maybe grab a, a power up that uh, enlarges your ship and you can like now have more uh, shooting power. And, uh, so in Nave, we took that to the limit of the screen. So the Nave, the, the ship uh, gets really big. It has like, a, it's not just a one or two or three power-ups. It's like 25 that you have to get to get big. But every, every time that you get hit, one of those parts uh, are, are, miss, are missed. So you get like bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller and you have to survive. And through the what, what happened is that you don't have lives; it's just the 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 energy. And with that, what happened is like the, the game wasn't designed for the game was designed like for being played for twenty minutes in that original presentation that we yeah. made the arcade for. But then mm -hmm. the uh, players started to uh, uh, play better and play better, and now like a a. a, a like the, score, the the highest score of the of the game that it's all in the same machine is like uh, four hours and for <laughs> real for real hours of, of people for playing. real hours yeah right so, so it was originally twenty minutes and then and then now people and now it's the challenge with the tournament right also like how long like what's the longest you can play I remember that like. You had to when we were there. We had to you had to sign up to be playing it, um, right. and that people were actually waiting to be able to play it. But there was like this one very good player, so he wouldn't stop. <laughs> so everyone right. was still on the waiting list for like. So, like I know that some of us like we left because we couldn't wait. We had to be there somewhere else on the next day, so we couldn't wait to actually get our time slot in there. So but that was it was fun. Yeah, you did well because. You went there like it was a Saturday yeah. uh, evening, and mm -hmm. the tournament uh, went straight till Monday 2 a.m. <laughs> wow, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, you were right of leaving. <laughs> yeah, yes. what is happening okay. is that the tournaments are like get, getting like longer and longer because there are more uh, good players. Yeah. So maybe it's like. Uh, party and many players play and then this good player starts and it's four hours of that player. yeah and so yes. people like sleeps and uh you know uh it's like a yeah like a festival like a woodstock yeah. <laughs> of now <laughs> yeah that's uh that's super cool uh we were uh, on this on the stream there was uh, footage of uh, of nave and of the players um yeah, I think we have to to wrap it up. Uh, is there any closing remarks you want to do about you or where they can find stuff or your education? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we'd like to uh, for people to know more about uh, the, the the scene. We I, we have I have a tiny Earl. If I don't know if you can share that, so uh, 
people have a because we made like a database of all the arcades and the types of arcades and links mm -hmm. and everything i don't know who should i we, we can share it on uh, on twitter uh, okay. and in the disc and in the discords um, okay so sure. um wait just a second that i lost you okay so uh yes we we follow uh video gamo on twitter it's uh, at video gamo i think yeah and uh and we we're preparing a post like a whole thread about the this the, the arcade scene yep. and i i like to uh uh to, to to finish to to name all the developers that because we are just one part of the of the scene yeah 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 and, Go ahead. Uh, i like to name them okay so it's mm -hmm. all the developers are uh tumba games shitty games jupitron trucho toys Waman Studio, Andrés Borghi, Army of One, Los Fungas de Villa Martelli, Tomás Pernich, Placeholder Studio, People from Playland, that it uh, made the, uh, the original Truco Arcade. And then uh, I like to name and thank uh, also, uh, because there's also in Brazil and, in, and Uruguay, there are some uh, also arcades there. And uh, I like to name uh, Space Giraffe from Brazil and Plastic Dreams uh, in Uruguay because uh, the thing is growing. So other countries are, are in, the, in the area also making arcades. And also thank, uh, because we have two um, uh, foreign games. We have the Octopad from Patrick uh, Lemieux and Stephanie Bolluck and yeah. uh, Line Wobbler from Robin Van Garden. Mm -hmm. So they they left us uh, a copy of each game. So they when we make gigs and stuff, uh, we also have these guests uh, with us. Yeah. So I want to yeah say hi to everyone that will be watching or is watching this video. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much for your insights uh, and also your work in the in arcading and making all of that happen. It's super cool. Uh, everyone, you look at the bus documentary thing and um, yeah, look up Video Gamo and um, more arcades, yay. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Anand. And then uh, yeah, enjoy, the sleep well and yeah. have a good Nave, first Nave uh, Arcade uh, event again and uh, talk to you later. Okay, Thanks, thank everyone. you very much and thank you to see you soon. Bye.